Hey everyone, this is Abby back with another training series. Today we're going to go over the product showcase tool on ShareASail. So if you're looking to create a dynamic banner ad featuring products from your favorite merchants, uh, then this tool might be the one for you. In order to get there, we're gonna hover over tools and click on product showcases. Now you may also see a tab for product showcase when you click on links, get a link slash banner, and then dive into an individual merchant's creative inventory. You'll see the option for product showcase, but if you hover over tools and product showcase is just another way to get to this tool. So it's a dynamic banner ad that only takes about five minutes to create. So you can see I've uploaded a few before. What's nice about the product showcase is it does record your hits, commissions, and gross sales and impressions on a daily and monthly basis. So once you get the code uploaded to your website, we'll start tracking how well this dynamic banner ad performs. And what I mean by dynamic is that the banner ad will update with new products every time the page refreshes. So it's not just going to be a general banner ad that refers your customers over to the home page or to a specific category page. It can actually deep link certain products. So I'm going to click on add new showcase. And what you do next here is you enter in a keyword of a product that you're wanting to promote. So most recently I did a search for planners. So let's say I'm writing a post that reviews a bunch of planners and I'm going to hit view products to see what type of products populate for my dynamic banner ad. What it then does is it breaks down the merchants whose products are featured in the dynamic banner ad. So you can see that from calendars.com, we have 26 products and from zazzle.com, we have two products. Now you can select specific merchants. Sometimes you'll see a result breakdown of five or more merchants. So you can select multiple merchants if you want to feature them all, or you can stick with one merchant. So I'm gonna stick with one merchant. So what I did there is I clicked on the box next to calendars.com, which also highlighted this select merchant option. And I'm going to click on show only. So now, now my dynamic banner ad will highlight products from calendars.com only. And oftentimes when you do that, a shop now button appears. So this call to action down here is included in my product showcase. And you can see since they're all pulling products from the same data feed that they are all the same size and they're all nicely aligned. So it is important for the merchant to have an updated data feed if you're going to be using this specific product. The way that you can check in on that is by hovering over merchants and clicking data feed merchants and making sure that the merchants that you're about to feature in this showcase, uh, that they have updated images and that they just in general have an updated data feed on file. And that's where you'll be able to find that information. So sometimes we have affiliates using this tool and it's not necessarily populating the correct images or an empty box is appearing. And that's because the merchant doesn't have an updated data feed on file with us. So you'll want to check that before you go in and build out this tool. Again, you can check that under merchants, data feed merchants. And it's essentially an Excel spreadsheet that they keep on file with us with the image of the product, the price, a description, and so on. So it looks like calendars.com though has done a great job at keeping their feed up to date because these products are looking good in the showcase. Next, I'm going to choose the layout and the style of how I want my showcase to look. So you can see we have five different layout types. So we have this vertical option. We also have this horizontal option 
this might be a good option if you're looking to break up text in your blog content or in your website content. We also have an image that is a square, a square with about six products highlighted there. And then we also have this option which highlights 12 different products. So this is gonna be the biggest showcase that we have. So I personally like the square and the horizontal options. For this example, we're gonna go with the square. And then you can also choose your color. So if you want it to have the same look and feel as your website, you can change out the border to a different color. So let's say you have a lot of pink on there. You can make the border pink. And you can change up the color scheme as well, which will change up the border around the Shop Now button. And you can also choose to include some pop-out data. So pop-out data, if you have yes selected here, is going to look like this. If someone clicks on a specific product in your showcase, it'll first pop out and give them additional information. So it'll give them the name and the price of the product, which again is why it's important for the merchant to have an updated data feed because all this information is being pulled from that as well. And it allows your audience to scroll through these planners in a visually appealing manner while staying on your website. So let's say one of your audience members is, has clicked on your product showcase on an image that they liked. They scrolled through, found one that they liked even more, and they clicked on it. So then they're going to go directly to this daily grind planner on calendars.com. So it is serving as a deep link, which is meant to increase conversions. So they can click on the image or they can click on the shop now button. Either one will function properly. If you didn't want that to happen, you just simply need to select no to product pop-out data. If you do, you can pick and choose what type of information you want in that product pop-out data. So that's all you need to do when it comes to styling and creating the product showcase. The last thing you need to do is simply give it a name and hit save in order to get the HTML code. So I'm going to name it Calendars Planners and hit save. And then you'll see here it's telling me to copy the code exactly. So I need to make sure that I highlight the code in its entirety, which isn't too long. And then I right click and hit copy. So after I have copied the code for my product showcase, I'm gonna go over to the back end of my website. I personally use WordPress, but you can use any sort of platform as long as it accepts HTML code, which the vast majority of them should. So make sure you're on the tab for HTML and simply copy and paste in the code, which I've already done here. So this is the entire code. And I'm in HTML. And then you can always preview it just to make sure it looks exactly how you would want it to look on your website. So I have that pulled up here as well. And you can see my showcase is now live on my website. And I chose to include the pop-out data as well. So again, they can scroll through the options and once they find one they like, they're going to click on it. It'll redirect through the share sale server and land on the page where the consumer can make the purchase and I can earn the commission on that. So it's a relatively simple way to create a dynamic banner ad. You can use this within your content and also on your sidebar, wherever you see the most fit. And again, that was under tools and product showcase, but you will also see it within your merchant's creative inventory section as well. If you have any questions on the product showcase, please let our team know. You can email them at shareasale at shareasale.com or give us a call anytime between Monday and Friday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Central Time. 
In our next webinar, we're also going to go over the Make a Page tool, which allows you to select individual products. So it's more static as opposed to a dynamic banner ad. And we hope to see you there. Thank you.